<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> a reveal for Shadow of the Erd Tree has to be right around the corner. And let me tell you, I can already feel the lore coming inside of me. You better strap down your hot dogs before they start slipping and sliding because we got something juicy. I made a couple of DLC news videos already, but your sweet baby boy is coming back for a third because we got some recent developments. Yes, that is right. You bet your sweet peach we're back on Steam DB, the site where it all happens. You know, we're over here being all shady checking out the back end of Steam with all these numbers and codes and unknowns. And it could just be Miyazaki uploading feet pics of Fia for fun and we'd have no idea. Here's the DLC section for Elden Ring on Steam DB, and as we can see here, oh, ho, ho, this bad boy was updated yesterday. Now, it's been a little over two weeks since this thing was added. We've seen it run through the PD phases, dev debug, and quality assurance since then. I mean, this thing has been hot, but the fact that it was just updated yesterday is definitely some exciting news. Now, if we dig a little deeper here, we find this, the change list and the number associated with this recent change. Now, right here, we can see it says that Steam DB requires a token. So basically what this means is that the DLC will require tokens, also known as money, to purchase the Elden Pass, which gets you runes to upgrade your character and cool skins to show off in the all new Shadow of the Erd Tree Battle Royale. <laughs> No, but basically, SteamDB defines a token as something that allows the site to display information for upcoming games, deleted games, private betas, and otherwise hidden apps. So where exactly am I going with this? Well, up until this point, at least to my knowledge, there was no mention of a token on this DLC app. So it seems that after From Software updated this, it specifically excluded a token and therefore access to further information about exactly what this is. So maybe whatever this update featured, further measures were taken to keep it hidden, even more so than it already is. Again, reinforcing that this definitely is Shadow of the Erd Tree chilling in Steam right now. Okay, so now here's where we get something that is actually legit, all right? What we have next comes directly from From Software's parent company, Katakawa. Literally today, they released a presentation containing information about quarter three of the current fiscal year, which if you don't know, spans from April of 2023 all the way to March of 2024. In this presentation, they have a gaming segment, which includes a future outlook. And this, babies, sweet babies, is where our interests lie. We can see here it says, in the future outlook section, the first bullet, from Software will further step up efforts to improve profitability in the medium to long term. And then the sub bullet point says various measures are currently in progress for Elden Ring, including the development of major DLC. Wait a second. Various measures? You're telling me there's multiple DLC? All right, hold on a second here. Hold on to your tidy whities. So in an attempt to understand this, the first thing I did was look up what exactly medium term really means in a business financial report like this. Because you gotta remember, we are the consumers. We consume manja, 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 and feast on the fruits of their labors. But we don't sit in on their corporate Zoom calls. This report was literally not meant for us. So I found from multiple sources that medium term can mean anything from a few months up to five years. Here's a screenshot from this website, successsteam.co. So let's dig into this a little further. Is this saying that the DLC could still be years away? Now, before you start crying, peeing, pooing, farting, and shitting, the answer to that question is probably no. And here's why. This is talking about From Software as a whole. That means everything that From Software has going on. You can see here in this same screenshot of the presentation, they mention how Armored Core 6 actually performed beyond expectations, which is actually great to hear because that game was awesome. But 
The point is that From Software is a developer that always has multiple projects in the works. We know that the DLC has been in development since as early as April of 2022, according to the lead game designer's LinkedIn profile, which means at one point in time they were developing the Elden Ring DLC at the same time as Armored Core 6. So we can assume Katakawa is anticipating more projects coming out of From Software within the next five years and beyond. Okay, so the way I'm interpreting this is that they're saying, hey, we got From Software stepping up with new projects in the medium to long term. And we got this Elden Ring stuff going on now. So am I interpreting this correctly? Well, what do you think? If you're someone who's into researching this type of stuff, leave a comment letting me know if you agree or if you think that I'm just a stupid idiot and there's some other thing that's actually going on here. And while I'm talking about comments, I would appreciate it if you were to leave a like if you liked this video because it actually does help me. Okay, so back to the various measures thing they said. I don't believe that this is referencing a second DLC or any other DLC for Elden Ring. I mean, that would be awesome, but considering how long Shadow of the Erdtree is taking, I'm gonna assume that it's something else. I don't know if Katakawa sees profits from things like the Elden Ring manga, but if they do, that's something I can see fitting into this various measures statement, like other side peripheral things with the Elden Ring name. Okay, so if your hazelnuts aren't quaking enough right now, I have one more thing. There is one more mention of the Elden Ring DLC in this financial report, and it comes in the frequently asked questions section. We can see here the question is, what is the development status of the DLC for Elden Ring, and when will it be released? I mean, you can't really get any more direct than that, but the answer is, we are currently working hard on the development of DLC for Elden Ring, but we have not announced a release date at this time. So, based on this answer, I'm assuming this question was asked by Katakawa, and the response is from From Software, based on the we are currently working part of it. So, what insight can we glean from this? Obviously, we already know From Software hasn't announced a release date. That's why we're over here making a feast out of Steam DB crumbs. But here's what I'm thinking. Why would From Software, when asked this question, respond with anything other than this? If they had said something like, yeah, we're working on it and we're aiming for a summer 2024 release window, just as an example, then it would show up in this document, which is publicly available. They have nothing to gain from offering information like that because you can literally just look this up. Like, just look up Katakawa Q3 financial report and you find this document with this screenshot. They wouldn't out their plans like that so easily and just have this information be posted without them controlling when that information actually gets out. So the point in bringing this up is that while it says, yeah, we don't have a release date yet, I just think they wouldn't say it here anyways. So I think this basically confirms that we're not getting any DLC in this month. I mean, if that does happen, slap me with a fish and call me sushi. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you make of all of this? And again, let me know if your dingleberries have been rustled. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please drop a like because that actually does help me. And as always, have a good one.